Now, DVD shops, uh, alas, are closing all over the shop, uh, which is upsetting, really. But Mike Retter has opened one. Welcome to the show, Mike. Uh, good evening, Peter. You look like a film buff. Okay, I hope that's a compliment. What, and you're a filmmaker as well. Uh, yes, yes I am. Uh, but like a lot of filmmakers, we're film buffs and we yes. love to procrastinate and do things that are not making films. <laughs> so And watch films. Why did you start a video store at Port Adelaide? Um, I, I'm passionate about uh, people being interested in films and watching a, you know, a variety of films and just taking cinema seriously. I think it's yeah. an art form um, up there with literature and music and uh, probably combines them all really yes and so you love film yes and, and um i love port adelaide as well and yes. there were some properties that were uh, dying out for uh, uh, interesting ideas on st vincent street yes. yes uh and um which is, has been troubled for 20 years oh yeah the, the, uh -oh. this this building is actually i think a hundred or a couple of hundred years old mm -hmm. and it had been derelict um since i moved into the neighborhood then yes. they did the shops up, but they couldn't fill them with any businesses, so they yes. uh, took a risk on me, and um, <laughs> yeah. And because parking's tricky, you can park behind in that shopping centre there, can't you? Yeah, parking's uh -huh. terrible, uh -huh. uh, so I encourage people to take public transport if they can. Yep. Um, but th there is parking, you just have to you know, go for a little yes. bit of a walk. And you've had this now six months, Yeah. and, and how are you doing with it? Pretty good. Uh, I've lost track of how many members. It's about half a ream of paper, so maybe 300 mm. members. Wow. So, mm. yeah. And it's not just about the quantity of films that we're renting out. It's, yes. it's the quality. Yeah, sure. You know, some of these films uh, can open minds or... Yes, change your life. Yes, they really can. What, what do you... What, uh, and it's mainly art house. You have all kinds of films. We have all kinds. I mean, we have a martial arts section, for yep. instance, that yep. has Jean-Claude Van Damme yep. and all those yep. things. But we have lots of French, Italian, Spanish, uh, you know, uh, Chinese, Japanese, mm. German. We don't have a foreign section. It's just one big world section, really. Yes. Uh, and um, <laughs> I, I think that... Well, uh, that is cinema, isn't it? Yeah, one, it one is. One big world, isn't it? And it went beyond language... It's 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 we're all film buffs. It's def, it's defined our lives in in the last century, hasn't it? Film. Yes, we, it, we all know the language of film, uh, mm, and we, we all know uh, what certain editing means to a, an expression or something. We mm. all we're all familiar with. Have it. you been supported by the council? Uh, yes, I mean it's not really to do with the council. It's really a Renew Adelaide uh, initiative. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, we have a great um, person, uh, Jane Ma, who's the the cultural officer, and uh, she promotes the shop and comes down and rents films and tells mm -hmm. everybody about it. Yep. But it's really just um, uh, filling an empty shop yes. uh, and uh, not spending any money, basically. The, well, I've came up with a business plan where it just costs nothing. Mm. That's why we're there. Otherwise, how does, how, how does it cost nothing? Well, uh, I've got a DVD collection, mm. and then I thought of two friends of mine that also had yes. DVD collections. Because we've all got DVD yeah. collections sitting yeah. there doing nothing. Yes. And some people spend a lot of time uh, and money importing yeah. films from overseas. They're all they like do. these huge, rare yes. um, you know, collections they're really proud of. Yes. But if they're really film buffs... They'll want to share them with yes, the community. Yes, you're quite right. So yeah. I spoke to two of my friends. Uh, ten minutes later, they, you know, they're saying yes, yes, yes. Yes. And um, so I got the shop. We recycled some old shelving. Yeah. We put the DVDs right. in the shop. Uh, got an old laminating machine for people's cards. <laughs> and there we are. It's done. Ah. And you've still got electricity and yep. and, the, and rent. We are paying our bills. Uh, everything is good. Uh, good. We're not paying rent at the moment, but we will be Good. shortly. We've and are you making a, a buck, uh, Mike Retter? No, no. It's a completely volunteer-run shop. Good Lord. Uh, but, uh, you know, when I'm in there and it's quiet, I'm working mm -hmm. on other things. I'm editing movies, you know, yeah, like yeah. documentaries. And, yeah. and other people that are in there are working yeah. often students. So they're just doing their and homework. And how wonderful for young and old alike, because they can come in and share their experiences of film. You like that, but gee, you're going to like this. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people that come in uh, teach me so much about film. Mm. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I've never studied film formally mm. uh, or you know, properly. It's just mm. been an interest. Mm. But there's people that come in that have. There's people that have come in that yeah. are filmmakers, and and there's people a lot older than me that 
just tell me exciting stories of, of film and art. Well, I saw recently uh, that, um, I think it's a doco that goes for about uh, oh, 20 hours uh, called The Story of Film by Mark Cousins. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, it is fantastic, but it made me feel like a big dummy. Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> I'd never heard of this Japanese filmmaker, mm. Ozu, mm. Uh, for example. Or Brazil, who, who knew there was such a, 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 a... Who knew the founder of the Iranian film industry was a woman? That's a good quiz question, actually. What's the only country in the world whose film industry was founded by a woman? Iran. Uh, all these filmmakers that I really had no knowledge of. Yeah, uh, and uh, it, it, it made me want to look out and reach out uh, and, and be a little more adventurous. Yeah, th- that TV series really goes into third world cinema as yes. well, and and just things you yeah you would you would never think of. And that's mm. the great thing um, uh, about a video shop as well. You're bombarded with um, you know all these titles mm. that you would never search for on the internet, uh, but you've got these you know all these. Uh, surrounded by all these images and, and you'll pick things up that you would n- never have thought and what of. are your favourites, Mike Retta? Well, uh, look, 2001 is hard to go past. There's I saw it again at the festival and uh, with, the, uh, with the orchestra and mm. it, it's amazing. I've seen it now four times in four different decades and each time I understand it less, I think, but enjoy it more. Yeah, it's a, it's a film uh, It's very ambiguous and you mm. can really put your own Meaning, meaning mm. into yeah, and oh, uh, oh, look, it's hard to narrow things down. Uh, I'm really into Russian cinema at the moment. Mm. Uh, Tarkovsky, absolutely. I, love Tarkovsky. I saw Mirror at the Mercury Cinema recently, and that mm. that was so good to see it again because the first time mm. I, I had no idea what to make of was it. Was it Tarkovsky who made Stalker? Yes, I love yes. that film. Yeah, me too. Um, An amazing film. In fact, one of the guys who's put films into our shop. Um, has a PhD in in Tarkovsky really? and Stalker. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> uh, he he wrote a book, a, a hard covered book on Tarkovsky, and is published. And yeah, he's involved oh. with the shop. There's a lot of cool people. There's Toby Bramwell from the Mercury yes, Cinema. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, Chris Luskri from the Melbourne Cinematheque. Uh, you know, uh, Renew Adelaide. Uh, you know, it's it's mm. a big joint effort. Um, and to, people could hang out there. We do. We drink tea uh, out, of, out of my father's uh, teapot oh. uh, that he made, yeah. I think it's wonderful, and uh, you deserve all the support. Now, people perhaps could um, – a lot of people got a lot of DVDs. Now, you, yeah. We tend nowadays to buy DVDs, and you watch it once, and you may never watch it again. Yeah. And uh, you may have a collection of DVDs that you don't want anymore that you could send and share with people of all ages. Uh, to Mike Retter of uh, uh, a volunteer of Film Buff Central down at Port Adelaide. What's the address, Mike? Uh, shop six two hundred and six, uh, St Vincent Street. It's it's right on the corner of St Vincent Street and uh, Commercial Road. I'm, I'm right next to a, a Nordic uh, furniture shop called My Modern Nest. Um, so near the Black Diamond Corner? Yeah, right on the corner, yeah. There used to be a tobacconist on the corner. Right. There. I mean, before you were born, kiddo. Okay. And then you're a couple of shops back. Yeah, I, th- I think so. I'm, I can't picture... You're still across the road from the courthouse? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, oh, not, not the courthouse, but the... the um, uh, that building that was supposed to be built in India, but it was built in Port Adelaide instead. Mm. It's another story for mm. another day. Um, I, I would like to th- uh, just thank also uh, my stepfather for helping me set up the shop. We, we yeah, fitted yeah. it out with shelving. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, hard work went into that. Yeah, so I just, just wanted to kind of mention that one. So people could donate. You should also start a... Um because uh, it's a bit difficult for, and great for if you live in the western suburbs, but uh, if you don't, uh, so you had a mail order, so you published the catalogue online, so someone like me could ring him up and say, yes, I'd love to hire, um, I don't know, it happened one night or something, and um, and uh, here's my, you've got my credit card details, so you whack that in an envelope and send it to me, and, with, and then I send it back to you, that sort of an arrangement. We, we're definitely thinking of doing that. I'm not very internet savvy, so uh, setting up the list uh, I haven't gotten around to, but the, mm. the envelopes I think is a great idea because people do come into Port Adelaide mm. from far away, 
yes, and so and because it's rental, they go, oh, how can we bring it back? Yeah. I do make it so everything is a weekly. There's no overnights right. because uh-huh. everything is for a week because you yeah. need time yeah, in, you our, do. in our busy lives. And you have, an, I believe, an unusual attitude to um, overdue fees. Yeah, look, we don't really charge uh, overdue fees. I mean, if something's away for many, many months, uh, you know, People are usually polite enough to, to pay some kind of late fee, but usually I just encourage you to hire again. So, mm-hmm. okay, what you would normally pay in, in, in fines, just, you know, just, mm-hmm. you know, you've taken back two films. Why don't you just borrow another two? Um, because we're really there about, you know, for, for people to watch films. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Now, you don't have my favourite film, Harold and Maud. We did have it, but it was a faulty disc. Well, I'm, I've uh, Nick Prescott, our film critic, and my dear friend, has given me that it's been re-released by Criterion with wow. some extra. So this is an older copy of mine, and much love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I've seen it 27 times. This movie, so I've, I, you can have that as a donation. And, and oh, thank you very go much. Go home and watch it immediately. I will. I will. It's a it's a really loved film. So uh, thanks. It, of course it is. And. Uh, if any, I've put my card in it, so it, and it encourage people they can ring me and tell me what they thought of it. Okay. Uh, uh, because I love talking about that film and uh, and and have you got Citizen Kane? Oh, of course. Of course you have. Marx Brothers. Uh, a couple of bits and pieces, I think. Mm. Uh, we are actually deficient in in Marx Brothers. Uh, well, I'll, I'll see what I can do about that too. I think you're doing a wonderful job there, and I thank you for it, Mike. And that's uh, Film Buff Central, St Vincent Street. Port Adelaide, it's round the corner from the Salvation Army. Yes, it is. Yep. On your mic, Redder. Good Thank luck you. to you. Ah, what a good idea.